feel like Wayne just starting to get his just due as a lyricist. Like yeah. people have and them all time conversations. I, yeah. I, I, see, and me, and I feel like I got really one should. conversation when you bring Wayne up, the GOAT. Mm-hmm. I think Wayne the greatest rapper of all time. I've been with him. That's my dude. I saw the whole process of him. I saw the, the times where, we, where he couldn't curse and we were stopping him from saying certain things. Like, bro, you can't say that. I, he, I'm, yeah, it sound good, but you just can't say that. People mm-hmm. don't want to hear that from you right mm-hmm. now. You know, and just seeing the whole development of Wayne and where he at right now, I just feel like he's the greatest of all time. Yo, what's good? We back with another episode of Another Day in the Life. And I do the simple Google searches so you don't have to. So let's get it. Little Wayne, the greatest rapper of all time. The GOAT. Says Juvenile. And honestly, if we just walk in lyrics, I don't care who you have. Nobody going toe to toe with Wayne. I don't care. That man is an animal and he been an animal. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something completely different. I normally don't do this, but our page isn't monetized yet. So I'm gonna go back for some little Wayne freestyles. It was free music anyway. And I'm gonna put in this video some of little Wayne's greatest verses that were unofficial anyway. And I can let you see what I experience when I was listening to Lil Wayne so you can understand the type of level he's on for the people who wanted to get into the classic Lil Wayne it's harder for them to get into it because we have um, streaming now we didn't have streaming back then we just had YouTube mixtape that piff um mixtape monkeys all these different sites um more like gangster grills project sorry for the wait the drought tree Lil um no ceilings which is my favorite little win project of all time the dedication all these various tra- um mixtapes would never be on apple music and then the versions th- that do make it on on the official beat so it, it, it doesn't have the same vibe but like i said we're gonna do it for the culture today we're gonna actually take a chance and we're gonna incorporate three and only three i'm gonna do three little win verses from the mixtape era so you can see why we look at Wayne the way we do. So the first um, verse we're going to use is... Okay, so let me show you the beauty of this verse. So let me start. We so ready for the war. C A R T E R. That's his last name, Dwayne Carter. Put the beat in E R, the emergency room. I'm calling them B R. Okay, what's B R? Add another three R. Per. You know when you call? Watch me like D V D V C R. <laughs> ah, pump to your chest. I ain't talking C P R. Come on now, you know when you when you um trying to resuscitate somebody. Okay, let's keep going. Riding this track like a mother effing street car. I don't have to explain that, you know. This the well, like see, I explain it now. The those um race cars with um those super Civics and Hellcats and all that. Blah blah blah. Boom. So we go back say, man, I go crazy on the beat. I go Nimrod. What is Nimrod? Act the ass on the beat. Like a hemorrhoid, where the hemorrhoid is beat. Man, I go to work on the beat. Call it employed. Come on. And that ain't even the whole thing, but let's go. <laughs> uh, young money run this towns, countries. I still eat rappers. Mm, scrumptious. My goons told thumpers. They pop them like crumpers. Anybody beat. I'm Dungle Archie Dunkers. Soon she be the wildest. Let's run the metropolis. I pop like lollies. You drop like eyelids. The money. 
money keep calling. I hear the shit dialing. And they say money talks, you can hear my shit hollering. You saw for the nylon. Oops, I meant nylon. Perfection is the goal, and I'm headed to the pylon. Crown fit me good, I ain't even gotta try on. The pistol mean business, that bitch should have a tie on. TD told me do the shit. Okay, okay, okay. I had to stop it one more time. Okay, he say that pistol mean business. That bitch should have a tie on. Businessmen wear ties, right? But that's not why I really stopped that, even though I really like that line. It's this next sequence of bars, the next sequence of bars, where he jump on the super flow. Just listen to how creative he uses the word super. Watch this. So I had to do this shit. I get superhero money, call a nigga super rich. Keep it super for a while. Let me get all my super shit. Super ill, super sick. Dog, I go super big. Ran into a super woman, turned into a super bitch. Get up with that super dick. She be coming super quick. Super meals, Mac Tiger Street, Snelly Super Nick. Super Drizzy, got a chuck and twist. That's the super click. Now I'm off that super shit. Fuck that shit, I super quick. Running circles around the game like a hula hoop and shit. You gon' have to loop this shit. That won't be a duplicate. And my blood be super thick. I'm higher than a super kick. I'm, I'm the vibe, baby. Watch me nuke this shit. When I leave the booth, they gotta scoop this shit. My apologies, diabolically. I'm the prodigy. Do you ride to me? I look in the flames and see the heart of me. But how come I'm still cold and commonly? Yeah, we run this town like a lot of feet. Young Mula, baby, I'm proud of me. Now, honestly, that was my favorite verse on that project. I think that came of no sealants, but there were many other verses I could have used, but I think lyrically that one was like top tail. Now I is a lot of verses I could use, but I, again, we trying to dodge the copyright strikes and if I'm not too mistaken because he remixed them and he isn't profiting off them. I think we allowed to use them. Hopefully YouTube understands my plight, but yeah, let's move on to the second verse. I think the first verse is a 10 out of 10. You can let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to. We ain't begging. We on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe if you do. Down if you don't. But let's get it. So this verse was special because I think he had some delays with the label. And like he was trying to drop his album, but he keep pushing it back, pushing it back. So what he did, he went back in his bag. He made a mixtape na and named it Sorry for the Wait. You know, album coming soon. That's what he was saying right so while he, he remixed like the hottest songs out at the time it amazed me because he jumped on an adele beat which she sang on and snapped but let's see you tell me Nobody fucking with me. First degree murder, you can get your degree, motherfucker. And you ain't gotta wonder about me, Wonder Woman. Tune gon' ball, money tall, Paul Bunyan. Real nigga shit, pussy niggas gon' hate. Pound of the cush, call that bitch pound cake. I hit it from the back and make the bitch a bow face. And then I got a split, sorry baby, sour grape. She whine, baby don't leave. I duck that bullshit, vibe and weave. Everybody tripping, but I ain't never tripping. Leave your ass flatter than my new television. I'm talking about money and the power, power and the money. This shit is magic, Stan Van Gundy. I'ma run this shit till I'm the last man running. Mac like that shit, then pass that to me. Okay, you know, we had to do a break. We had to not let certain lines pass. We had a basic line, first degree murder, you can get your degree. You know, you ain't got to wonder about me, Wonder Woman. Tone gone ball, money tall, Paul Bunyan, yeah, like, you know, basic things. But then he slipped in this line right here. He said, I hit her from the back, made the bitch about face. And then I got a split. Sorry, baby, sour grapes, she wine, baby don't live. Grapes fermented makes wine. Then he come back, I dug that bullshit, duck in, bob and weave. <laughs> Everybody tripping, but I ain't never tripping. Leo has flattered at my new television. Come on, man. Then they can come back and spin around and say, this shit is magic, Stan Van Gundy. Now, if you know the coach of the Orlando Magic when Dwight Howard was dominating there, yeah. But anyway, let me get back to the greatness. Head of the time, knock your pussy ass off and send your head to your mom. I ain't playing with niggas, no sir, not me. And they can't blindfold with my third eye see. Yeah, I was locked up like a bird, I'm free. 
can a coupe transform? No Tyrese, hello, goodbye, where are you, Wayne? I'm somewhere in between, joy you pain And I reach for the stars, got stuck in the clouds Got high as a bitch and left my love on the grind I ain't that about a bitch, it ain't never about a bitch I take your bitch and make her everybody bitch Backed up by a bunch of G-ass niggas And I just bought your girl for some knee pads, nigga Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I gotta let that one slide. So anyway, this party was like, you know, the coupe transform, no Tyrese. You know, basic lines, you know, Tyrese was in Transformers, you know, somewhere stuck between joy and pain, blah, blah, blah. But then he say, now nah, ain't that but a bitch. It ain't never but a bitch. I take your bitch and make everybody bitch. <laughs> yeah, when I see you. Nigga street where the real nigga sung I'ma rap that shit till kingdom come Yeah, shot bring the drink, I bring the blunts Fuckin' with me, it's blood, bring the guts ah! Fuck out, for real though Sleep with the hammer under the pillow Get into the room, bend it over like an elbow Soon as I'm done, peel off like Velcro down Baby, I'm stoned, smoking on strong Got a huge ass bone Swag off the hook, you can't use that phone Stop at the light and put my roof back on Sorry, 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 but we had to acknowledge that. He said, get into the room, bend over like elbow, soon as I'm done, peel off like Velcro. Cool. But it's just the line right there. He say, smoking that strong, got a huge ass bomb. Swag off the hook. You can't use that phone. Come on, man. You got to remember, this was a long time ago when these lines was hitting. News, jumping in the game, better read the rules. Eyes a bitch, yeah, that's me on the moon. Okay, if you made it this far, we gotta now select the last verse. Again, I thought it was plenty of verses that I wanted to put, but we wasn't allowed to because of copyright. And again, we only taking a chance with these remixes. So hopefully, and I really think if anything gets flagged, it'll really be that Adele one because you know Adele is a huge artist, so they have that strong copyright on our music. But hopefully um, things work out. But yeah, let's see what verse I said for last. The, the last verse was a banger and it really was impressive because that was a singing song with Lil Wayne styled it. So let's go. Now with this final verse, I was a bit conflicted on which verse to put because I was thinking about putting something deep, but again, I was ducking copyright and everything. So ultimately, I decided to go with another mixtape song and a short verse at that. I didn't do a whole song, so let's get it. I don't even like this beat, but fuck it. I'm only spit like a few bucks and I don't like this beat. Let's go. Uh, bitch, I'm not old news. I'm more like gold shoes. She eat my whole dick. She like whole foods. They say I'm old school, but I dropped out. Drop your body off at a cop's house. They throwing up them bricks. You better box out. My niggas got enough white to build a rock house. I got my drawers on. Sam Rothstein, 44 on my waist. Rick Ross jeans. I've been faded. Stonewash jeans. New pussy, new money, new Arlene's. 50 up in that Uzi. G, -g, -g, -g unit. I murk you with that bitch. Scratch the serial number, reuse it. Uh, I'm from the N.O. Stretch niggas out like limos. That Uzi goes zit, 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 zit. That's pimples. Uh, I'm about to go banana pudding. <laughs> You a dyke cause your man a pussy Hit you from the blind side, no Sandra Bullock Never bite the hand that feeds you Always watch the hand that's cooking Tunch. Okay, in classic Lil Wayne fashion He destroyed the beat She eat my whole meat She like whole foods Say, now this, this, this was kind of cool He was like, they say I'm old school But I dropped out Drop your body off at a cop's house They throwing up them bricks You better box out, basketball reference my niggas got enough white to build Barack's house. I don't even have to explain that. 44 on my waist. Rick Ross jeans. 50 up in that Uzi. G, -g, -g, -g on it. Like out of Uzi stutter. Yeah. Then he comes back, say that Uzi goes, zit, 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 zit. That's pimples. <laughs> Come on, man. That's weird. Now, again, there were plenty of verses that I could have used. I could have used this verse and. Um, high school because that was dangerous it wasn't the lines, but it was the storytelling I could have did a song what he did with Kendrick Lamar where he's, he's, he basically did a whole robbery scene I could have done um, Six foot seven foot real G's moving silence like lasagna I could have done a song with Rick Ross Automatic leave him dead in the living room Get it leave him dead in the living room. It was many verses I could have done but you can't just try it out. With someone with the 
the catalog of Little Wayne, and I, again, I'm saying mixtapes on official albums. Like, it, it, it's hard to, because I got to use Sky's The Limit too. Like, that's amazing. Um, Ambitions of a Rider, I think that's what it named, the name, the Tupac um, song remix. Like, and he killed that. Like, yeah, it was many, many, many songs I could have done. But this was just like three on the top of my head. So we go back to the original sentiments when Juvenile was saying, do you consider Lil Wayne to be one of the greatest lyricists ever? And I got to agree with him. He is the GOAT. I don't think nobody really could go bar for bar with him. Yeah, he's, he's not strong in all aspects. And some people may have stronger aspects than him. But just bar for bar, you, you know what I'm saying, Wayne? But it's just another day in the life. <laughs> like keep on living. We out.